There are only a few days left to see the Van Gogh exhibit at the Detroit Institute of Arts, but now a judge says one of the paintings has to stay there because it might be stolen. Good evening. That claim coming from a Brazilian man who says he paid millions for the work of art. That was back in 2017. Well, it's grown in value by at least a million dollars since then. The oil painting done in 1888 is called the Unli Zeus de Roma, which roughly translates in English to a novel reader. Victor Williams is live with a story that's really got a lot of people talking, Victor. Oh yeah, Karen, a lot of people. And we got our hands on that lawsuit that was just filed yesterday. But in just the past few hours, it was revealed that a federal judge has decided to block the DIA from moving this painting, at least temporarily. We're excited to see the Van Gogh exhibit. I know it's ending soon, so we're glad we got here in time. But your report tells me it's even more interesting. That's right. This is the $5 million painting called the Lazus de Romans created by Vincent van Gogh that's currently on display at the DIA. But a Brazilian art collector who claims to have bought the piece for $3.7 million says he's been on the hunt for the artwork since 2017. It sure makes the interest it more interesting and maybe it'll bring more people to the DIA. According to this recently found lawsuit by broker art capital partners and Gustavo Sotero, Gustavo purchased the piece and transferred possession, not the title to a third party lender, potentially the same one responsible for loaning the piece to the DIA. In response, the DIA sent us this statement, which in part reads, quote, the Detroit Institute of Arts, like all AAM accredited museums, regularly enters into loan agreements with other national and international museums and collections. Before agreeing to international loans to the DIA, the museum follows best practices. This includes the research of ownership from scholarly sources, the art loss register, and where applicable, the U.S. Federal Register. End quote. The lawsuit is asking the painting be returned or that the DIA keeps the painting until an agreement is made. There's a strong worry the alleged owner may not be able to keep tabs on the piece once it leaves for the next stop. Now with the federal judge's new order, the painting can't be physically moved, altered, or hidden in any type of way. Regardless, many are hoping that common ground can be found. Provenance is such an important part of all of these paintings. And so I'm sure the DIA wants to help solve this problem as well. So I hope, I hope it all works out for the best. Now a hearing is set for January the 19th. That's when both sides will appear before U.S. District Court to discuss this matter. Victor Williams, Local 4. A lot of people talking about this story. Okay, Victor, we appreciate it.